Okay, so I haven't posted anything in a long time, but now I'm getting back to work and I'm working on two projects right now. One of them is this motor right here, which is already done. It has 16 magnets and 16 coils. And the other one I'm working on right here, which is a lot, a little bit smaller, not that much smaller, but 14 coils. And I'm going to use 28 magnets on this one. And the magnets I'm going to use are these right here, these little neodymium magnets, and I get them for free, but I have to break them out of this bar right here, which I get I get these from my dad's work, because they use these on the press, and they hold the, um, the plates on that, that print onto the paper, and sometimes they have to replace them, so the ones that they get rid of, I can easily get. You can see right there, where I break them, break them out. They're they're in they're glued in pretty pretty well. So you can see how much it's bent. This was straight, but I've been smacking the shit out of it trying to get the magnets out. It's not that easy. On here I put steel banding around. You can see it right there. Got it marked one one part of marking where the magnets are gonna go. They're gonna go right right there, right under the line. And right now, I use this piece of cardboard, and I marked all these little lines right here. Ooh, just killed a mosquito. I marked all these lines right here onto this piece of cardboard so that now I can use it to transfer these lines to where I'm going to put the magnets. Uh... I recorded earlier using a different memory card, but that card doesn't seem to work on my computer, so I have to do it over again with this memory card. That sucks. This motor right here, I'll show you. It makes power. I was pretty happy about that. Goes up pretty high, too. That was just on one series of coils. You can see right there. It's got two series. I'm gonna I'm gonna wire this one parallel so I get more amps instead of volts. Um, oh yeah, this banding right here. It's an eighth inch thick. I don't know if I already said that, but I also get that for free from this sheet right here. I also get that from my dad's work. This is what they they laser on bumps, the bumps that, the image that gets printed onto the paper, and then the ink, they run ink over it on the press while it's spinning on giant, giant rollers, and then it just presses it onto the paper, and they go through hundreds of, hundreds of these a day, so I can easily get tons of them. But this memory on this card is about to run out, so I'm going to cut this video right now. But yeah, thanks for watching.